As you can see, we're starting off with Gorilla Snot. What we're gonna do is put it all along the lace so that once we do the color, it doesn't stain the lace. Now you're gonna wanna grab a container, nothing really, really big because the bigger the container is, the more water that you're gonna need and the more color that you're gonna need. So something moderately small, something like this, and what you're gonna do is add hot water to the container. I never completely empty out the bottles at first anyways. I like to dump portions into the container and mix it up so that we don't have any clumps in the water. We will repeat this step with all of the other bottles until everything is in the container. Now what we're about to do is add more water to the container so that the wig is completely saturated in its color. Make sure the water is hot as well. Make sure that you're mixing the container very, very well because we don't want any clumps inside of the container at all. So now that we're ready, we wanna grab the wig and start with the ends. You don't wanna just dump the wig inside of the container, but you wanna start with the ends and comb your way up. This will ensure that your wig is completely covered, completely colored, and you won't have any blotches or any spots. until you are satisfied with how the wig looks.
Don't forget to comb through the wig as well. Now that we're all set with that, we're gonna blow dry the wig. Now let's start plucking. This isn't an in-depth video of how I pluck. However, if you're interested in that, the link to my sheen video will be down below. In preparation of curling the hair, I like to use silicone mix shine hair polisher. You can find that on Amazon. Now, yeah, y'all probably like no way she used the straightener to curl. You know those curls that you've seen in the beginning of this video? I sure did, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So you're going to grab a section of the hair, nothing too big. It must fit within its width of your iron. Then you will turn the iron inwards while dragging the iron downwards. Also, always make sure that you have control of the remaining hair strand. As you can see, I'm constantly straightening it out as I curl. Before we continue on to curling the whole head, I want to start barrel curling what we already have done. So what you'll do is grab a curled section, put your index and middle finger right underneath it, and wrap the hair in the direction of the curl around both fingers. Once you're done with that, you'll just clip it and you're pretty much finished. Now we'll repeat these steps until we're all pinned up. Now this is how our girl looks all pinned up. She looks amazing. Super clean parting, super clean curls. We love that. Here is the finished look. It looks absolutely amazing, exactly how I wanted it to come out. Curls are amazing, edges are laid, color is vibrant and popping. It couldn't have came out any better.
don't forget to shop Hilly here, y'all. This is the packaging that you'll receive when purchasing with me. I can't forget about the complimentary mink lashes and African bonnet you'll receive while purchasing as well. Definitely check it out. We have different styles, colors, and lengths available today.